Look, okay, I know that. There's nothing on the plate. Nothing on the plate whatsoever. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kayla and welcome back to another video. So this video is actually going to be me pretty much talking about something that happens to all of us when you get lost in the depths of YouTube. Because you know how it is, you're just sitting there watching a video one day, oh, your favorite YouTuber's video, all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, you look at your screen and suddenly you're watching a video of a whale moaning for a turkey. That doesn't really happen on YouTube, but you understand what I'm saying. I mean, I literally just can't fathom how my brain lets me get from one normal video to some weird ass video that has like 10 views. So if you guys are interested in watching that video, then keep on watching because if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with an example of what I'm talking about so that you guys understand the context. Basically, you'll be watching your favorite YouTuber's video. Let's take Rosanna's video, for example. I'll be watching one of her cooking videos, right? Watching her make a delicious cake and realizing that I'm worthless and I will never be able to bake as well as she can. And then I see in my recommended for you section or the suggested videos based off that one, it's someone making a cake out of glass or out of plastic. So I'm like, wow, I wonder how someone eats this or makes this, so let's watch it. And then YouTube, for some reason, thinks that I avidly wanted to watch it and I'll be watching a strange addiction on someone who eats glass. It's it's whatever you want to do, like I'm not going to judge you or anything, but it's just weird to watch that. And then you're watching a strange addiction of someone eating glass and then all of a sudden you're watching a video of a homeless person in New York eating out of a trash can and you're just sitting there like, how the hell did I get here? What God let me get to this point to be watching all these weird videos? And how can this be stopped? This actually happens a lot for me, and it doesn't just happen with YouTube videos, it happens with my mind too, where I'll start thinking about a vacation that I'm thinking about. For right now, let's just see where this, where this can take me. And this will be a real life example of this happening to me in a way that's not necessarily about YouTube, but it'll help get the point across. So I'm going to Anaheim, California for MineCon in about a week. So I'm really excited to go see my friends. There have been so many stories and memories that we've made there, and we always have these pools that we just jump in and they're so fun. So I once saw this story that was about this girl who was riding on a surfboard in the water and on her surfboard a shark came up and bit off her arm. And then they made a movie called Soul Surfer. I actually met this person, her name is Bethany Hamilton, and I met her during Dolphin Tale when I filmed that. You see what I mean? Just right there. Moving back to how this pertains to YouTube, that I think there's only three things that could be causing this weird malfunction of our brains to be letting us watch this stuff. The first is a conspiracy theory, that the government wants us to be watching all these weird videos so that we can take our eyes off of the news and all of the funny videos that actually aren't weird and that are actually informative because they want our brains to rot. The second reason that this might be happening is probably because YouTube is trying to shut down their own website and they want us to go watch all these weird videos and dig into the depths so that we're scarred for life and never want to come back to YouTube. YouTube, I see what you're up to and I'm never leaving you. I'm like my cat did when I was six. I miss you, Oreo. Actually, he's in Ohio, so it's probably Northeast. I miss you, Oreo. Or three is that we just have the shortest attention span and we are so drawn to things that we don't understand that we actually want to go watch it ourselves and it's just in the subconscious so when we get to him, we realize how messed up consciously all of wa watching all of these weird ass videos are, we blame it on other things, on it being in accident or it being a mistake or I didn't know what I was doing. We all know what you're doing, people who use incognito browsers. Don't act like you're sly. But hopefully it's actually one of the first two. And if it's a third one, that means I have to start taking responsibility for my issues. And uh, Lord knows I'm not gonna do that, so. This is the first type of video that I've made like this. I just really felt like talking about it and I hope you guys got a laugh out of it or a smile or anything of that nature. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you liked these videos. They're really entertaining for me to watch when I watch some other YouTubers who do this type of stuff. Shout out Liza, the queen of YouTube. Oh so, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my video on Saturday. Bye!